Hi Taurus, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Tarot Grand Lux and also from the Spirit Messages Oracle Cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you and it is free to subscribe. Also, at the end of this message, like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab as well as the shorts. And finally, if you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment. Just leave a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. God Most High, what is the divine guidance and encouragement for Taurus? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. All right, Taurus. You have the Nine of Wands and you have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're being encouraged with the Nine of Wands to continue to persevere with whatever it is that you are working on to generate financial abundance for you and that as you continue to put in the effort and the time that it will pay off so if you have a new creative idea that you want to implement say for example if you are an entrepreneur I feel like you're being encouraged to go ahead and execute upon that idea which will enhance your financial status because it will draw in new clientele so be proactive in persevering and knowing and knowing that you will have a successful financial outcome ultimately, but it is going to take effort to get to that point. I feel like now is the time to take the action because there is a compass that is before this man on the nine of wands. And so I feel like right now you're receiving guidance and which with regards to which direction you should go in so I feel like even if it's a direction that's outside of the norm and is forcing you to get out of your comfort zone that you follow the nudges that you're receiving guiding you in the direction that's going to be most beneficial for you and again it's going to ultimately result in you having financial success okay you have both the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles and keep in mind that with the pentacles the pentacles energy is slow moving energy will it yield a harvest absolutely but it's like the saying go about wine that it gets better with time so just take your time and know that whatever you lay your hands to, whatever you are working on, will ultimately be successful for you. It may feel like it's exhausting. It may feel like you just can't go on, but you can. Use your inner strength to persevere. On both of these cards, you see the sun breaking through the gray clouds that tells you that there is good change that's coming that's coming pardon me pardon me whoa that there is good change that's coming up for you and all you have to do is keep going don't quit and don't give up all right and on the bottom of the deck you have the seven of pentacles She's doing what? Reaping her harvest. Her financial harvest. Oh, I'm going to take that card that fell on the floor. She's re reaping the harvest of her financial... Pardon me. She is re reaping the harvest of all the efforts she put in for financial wealth. Look at the smile on her face. Why does she have that fat smile on her face? I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words. Pardon me. It's because she didn't give up. 
She kept going. She persevered. Nine of Wands encourages you to keep going because you're going to have financial wealth that's going to be in abundance for you if you don't quit, if you don't faint, if you don't give up, if you just keep going. And the emphasis here on the two nine cards, you like got both of these nine cards that tells you that this is important because it's repetitive. The synchronicity is encouraging you to keep going because you're going to reach your goal. You're going to have success. Do you have to be patient? Yes. Is it going to get difficult sometimes? Yes. But can you persevere and can you overcome any challenges you face? Yes. Just keep going. Don't give up. Don't give in. You will reap a great harvest. Yes, wands is fiery energy. Absolutely. It's like, let's go. Let's get going. But you have the balance here of the pentacles that creates that yin and yang between the fire and the earth. You, you feel me? You understand what I'm saying? You get me? <laughs> I hope so. All right. But this confirms the financial abundance that you will obtain. And even if you're not an entrepreneur, but you're putting in the effort and the work for your employer, you're going to find that you'll have an opportunity to advance financially if you just keep going. Don't worry about what other people are doing. If they're hemming and hawing, let them hem and haw. You just stay true to what you've been assigned to do. Stay on course and it will pay off. You may think that no one's noticing you, but they are noticing you. So keep going. Don't get caught up in the rhetoric. Stand out. Keep putting in the effort, putting in the time. You're being noticed. Trust me. Hold on one moment. Let me get your card off the floor. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. A lot of money. A lot of money for you, Taurus. That Earth energy coming up in your reading. So, with the Ten of Pentacles... This gentleman who's of age is continuously putting away money for the future and not so much uh, just for future generations, but for the near future, for himself and others who are in his family unit. So I feel like you're being encouraged to make so make sure that you put something aside for the future. Even if it's just a dollar a week. Yes. Even if it's just one dollar a week. Put it to the side. We have 52 weeks in the year. If you put a dollar aside a week, you'll have $52 at the end of the year that you've saved. And it may not seem like much, but you may have an emergency, right? An emergency may be that you just need $52. Guess what? You're gonna have it. I'm just saying. So even if it's $1, put it aside for the future. You won't regret it. It's going to pay off. Trust me, it's going to pay off. But look at how you can implement some form of additional savings for yourself, aside from what you're already doing. If you already have a savings or checking account, that's great. But look at how you can save a little more for the future. There are 
so many savings challenges that are available, ones that you can do independently or with a group. It's completely up to you, Taurus. So keep that in mind. And if you have any type of family heirloom, make sure that you are being responsible with it. Um, no disrespect, but make sure like it's put away safely, that no one could come in and steal it from you or anything of the nature. Okay. Now, as it relates to the spirit messages for you, Taurus, that's for your well-being. Okay, thank you, God Most High. And that what in the highest form of love and light? Okay, this card just flew across the room. You're going to have to bear with me as I get the card, okay? Is there anything else, God Most High, for Taurus? Okay, thank you. All right, Taurus, hold on one second. All right, I'm going to have to scoop my chair back, so bear with me. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm telling you, it flew across the room, Taurus. Wow, it's very important for you. It jumped out of the deck and flew across the room. So all three of your cards jumped out of the deck. I'm going to save for last the one that flew across the room. <sighs> You're going to love it. You have receive. And the message is you are kind and loving. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is a natural law and order for, of, pardon me, the universe. So learn how to give. Sometimes I know you can feel like you don't want to receive for whatever reasons. It could be pride. It could be a number of things. But it's important to learn how to receive just as you give, especially if you're continuously giving and rejecting when someone else tries to give to you. So be open to receiving. And as you're open to receiving, you'll learn how to embrace it and it won't be such a difficult challenge for you as you continue to uh, go forward you know what I mean like some people they're just really great givers but they have a hard time receiving it's like when someone tries to give to them they try to downplay it like oh no you don't have to do that etc etc rather than receiving the blessing from God Most High, or however you honor the higher power. Just receive, just receive the blessing rather than rejecting it. You know what I mean? So this card is given from spirit or however you honor the higher power to you at this time, Taurus, because uh, we see the love, strength, and guidance that you give to many. But now it's long overdue that you allow others to give back to you. We know and understand that you may struggle in the art of receiving even though life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. As a soul, you are an energetic being composed of an intelligent source of spiritual energy that guides you on your path toward happiness, prosperity, and well-being. Let others feel the joy in giving to you the same 
happiness you feel when you're give, generously giving to others. They also need to give back to keep the balance. You might have asked a question on obtaining something in your life and not accepting or receiving from others could block the flow of abundance in all areas of your life. It may take a little while for you to practice this, but when someone gives to you just a kind thank you in return is all that is needed. Keep the natural flow going and watch how the universe or how you honor the higher power gives back to you for your highest good. The more you learn to accept and receive, the more the blessings in your life will appear. There's nothing else to say about that. <laughs> it confirms what I said. So learn how to receive learn how to receive it is a blessing a mother's love okay so this is for someone in particular a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close she knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken amen to that why because love is energy baby and love never ends it's ongoing rather someone is in the earth realm or in the spirit realm the love continues to flow and grow so you don't you don't pardon me okay let me move past that all right so it is likely that you had, okay, so hold on one second, that this is speaking to like, if you're in person doing a in-person reading, let me get to the other part of the message, hold on, because this doesn't apply to you because your hand didn't select this card, this card jumped out of the deck. Okay, so moving forward, a mother's love lives on forever. And even though we are here in the spirit world, the love never ends and will continue to nurture you, protect you and to keep you on your path. This card can also indicate that you may need to mother or nurture yourself as this specific, at this specific time. Spirit, or however you are on a higher power, knows how heavy your heart is right now and encourages you to remember the good times you shared with your mother for this, for those special memories remain with her in the spirit world. Your mother wants you, wants to thank you for all that you did and she knows the love, care, and thoughts you gave her right to the end. She's saying, I really never left you. I am in the sun that rises and sets each day and the gentle breeze that ca caresses your face. When you feel the sun warm, when you feel the sun warm you, know that I am holding you close in a tender embrace, whispering, I love you, my child. That's wonderful. Let me know in the comment section if that resonates with you. And perhaps your mother was fair skin with gray hair. I'm getting the letter K. Perhaps maybe her name was K. Kate. Let me know in the comment section, but I'm getting the letter K and also the letter L. Lynn, Linda, Larissa, Linda, Lynn, Lynn keeps coming up. Lydia, yeah, 
Okay, those are the letters that were coming up for me. Let me know in the comment section if they resonate with you. If so, leave the letter in the comment section. Thank you. So your final card is trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Trust your intuition, period. Just trust your intuition. Sometimes our log logical thinking isn't what we need at the time sometimes you just need to trust your intuition at the time okay so trust the compass that's leading and guiding you by way of your intuition this card is a timely reminder that a decision needs to be made but you may be about to base that decision on logic, the easy option, or even allow past experiences to make the choice for you. Stop for a moment and consider the options. The spirit world is reaching out to you, so take their wise counsel as at this time. It's important to act on what you feel. Such inner turmoil can often leave you feeling exhausted drain or even emotionally confuse those feelings are clear clear indicators so by surrendering to what you feel is right you can trust and be sure that the outcome will be for your highest good let go of those restrictive logical responsibilities and let the flow of life take you to where you're supposed to be trust that spirit or God most high or however you honor the higher power, pardon me, will guide you and allow yourself to experience the liberating sense of freedom as you do. You'll arrive at a place where you feel confident and safe, a place where there's clarity in decisions and choices. By working in partnership with your inner guidance and the universe or however you honor the higher power you'll benefit in ways you may never imagine so trust your inner guidance trust your intuition trust the compass that's within you that's nudging you all right taurus this is your message i hope it's been helpful thank you for joining me Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Peace and blessings to you and surrender to the process. Surrender to the nudges you receive. Surrender to listening to your intuition and to trusting what signals you're getting through your body. All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.